guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we are talking about exes, past relationships, the boundaries that I think should be in place, um, and just how to navigate the world of past relationships or how not to navigate through that world. The first question I want to address is, is your friend's ex off limits? Absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. Um, it's always a question, though, and I'm not really sure why, but I feel like know your loyalty. And if your loyalty is to your friend, someone that they dealt with, I really don't care how long ago, if they were seriously interested in this person, just let it go. There's plenty of people in this world that you can date that has no relation to a friend of yours. A close friend, a previous close friend, whatever the case. Um, crazy enough, so my ex from high school, his best friend at that time, tried to date me. Like, sir, first of all, this is uncomfortable. And like this ex in particular is married, kids, the whole nine yards. But at the end of the day, the time in which you knew me personally, I was dating your best friend. This is not a thing. It's not going to be a thing. It shouldn't be a thing. It's uncomfortable, to say the least. And I wouldn't do that to anyone else, whether we're still friends at, the, at that point or not. It's just the principle. It's just understanding, like, hey, you dated them. I know you dated them. That's it. That's all. I think if you were completely unaware that they were dating, or maybe you weren't friends at that point, and you end up dating someone and find out, hey, we have a mutual friend. I think that's a little different because you're already involved in the situation. But if you know, don't be that person. It's just not even okay. Like, on either side of that coin, to be honest with you. Um, another question that I've personally debated for quite some time is, can you be friends with your ex? Honestly, I used to think so. I used to adamantly think so, and I used to be so hell-bent on being friends with exes, and I used to mandate that anyone I'm dealing with should accept the fact that I'm friends with my ex, ex or people that I've dealt with before. I had one ex who we were friends for years after dating, and I used to consider him my best friend, and I had to realize, like... At some point, you just got to let that go because at the end of the day, those feelings are still there. And as long as you have that connection with that person, they're not really going to go away. And flashbacks are a real thing. Hello. Somebody. Like, you can't have a genuine friendship with someone if you've had a past with them. I really don't think so because that past is always going to be there and it's always going to be some kind of reminder when it comes to the the interaction and the relationships and things like that. And it's just not fair to anything that you're currently dealing with as well. And that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but at the end of the day, it just does not work. The reason why I say it does not work is because part of it is the flashbacks. Secondly, they know a little bit too much. And if you've been physically intimate with this person, it's almost impossible to just walk away and just have a clean break and all of that because there's always going to be the what if and there's always going to be like when even if you're talking about a relationship that you're currently involved in, it's like, well, you didn't fight that hard for me and you didn't do that when we were together. Like it's always going to be playing in the back of your mind. And even if you want the best for that person, even if you want the person to move on and to be happy and to find love and things like that, it's just a really, really, really messy um, scenario because unless you were friends for years before you started dating, I really don't see, because the, the bulk of your connection with that person is your relationship. And that's where you stood at that time. And so having that dynamic with the people and then your family's still thinking like, oh, well, maybe they're still trying to figure it out. Maybe it's a possibility. I'm not saying you can't be friendly, but 
I don't think you can be genuine friends with someone that you were romantically involved with at one point or that you wanted to be romantically involved with at one point or even if you were just physically intimate. I just don't think you can have a genuine and healthy friendship with them. So I suggest burn the bridge. You just got to do it because at the end of the day, you have to keep in mind, like, well, I know for me, I want to get married. I want to have a family. And what I don't want to do is have a conversation with my future husband and say, hey, listen, I got this ex, but we're just friends now. I need you to be cool with that. I wouldn't be cool with it, but you need to be cool with it. Like, it's just not fair. And there are some people who would be willing to accept that and to understand and then you have trust and all of that. But why put yourself in that situation? Because that same friend, all it takes is one visit to slip into something that you're not supposed to be in. That's all it takes. Because that chemistry is still there, that connection is still there, that history is still there, it still exists and you cannot get rid of it. The only way to put the past in the past is to leave it there. That's it, that's all. And it's not always going to be appreciated. It's not always going to be um, accepted even. But you got to do what's best for you. And you have to put your focus on what your goals are. And if your goals are to stay in the past, by all means, God bless America. However, if your goals are to work towards a better future or a healthier future, then that's what you need to be focused on. Because at the end of the day, you cannot drive forward while staring in your rearview mirror. You just can't. At some point, you got to move forward. You got to be willing to say, that's it. That's the, it's done. No hard feelings. Let's just move forward. But move forward separately. Burn the bridge. It's okay to burn seven bridges. It really, really is. And... Previously this year, this is a little bonus tidbit for you. I went through a block, delete, repeat phase. And when I tell you the block game is strong, and sometimes it's necessary. And sometimes you'll get hit with those, hey, why'd you block me? Um, I blocked you because my purpose is bigger than this. And whatever this is, is holding me back from what I'm trying to get done, what I'm trying to accomplish. I got things to do in life and what I cannot do is be distracted by my past I just can't I don't have that kind of time at the end of the day it's not personal it's not because you did anything wrong at the end of the day I'm just focused on my goals and what I'm trying to get done and when I tell you 2018 the the door to my past is going to be locked forever that's it that's all like I'm not keeping the Because that's dead weight that I just can't carry. I got other things I need to carry into my future, and dead weight is not one of them. And I need you guys to have that same type of mentality. Like, well, you got to have those type of goals and be able to say, like, listen, that's it. That's all. We can't keep doing this back and forth. We can't keep entertaining anything that has to do. And it wasn't even just exes. I mean, if I just wasn't interested in the person, if I felt like this wasn't going nowhere, friendships that I felt like were toxic, dating relationships that I felt were toxic, or even connections, or whatever the case, block, delete, repeat. When I tell you, you will find so much peace. It's like not even funny how much peace can come from just knowing what you have at stake. It, it's really that simple work towards your future and if it's not benefit currently benefiting your future because that was the case with one person who I had to leave in my past he's like well how could you throw away all these years of friendships and you know I've always been there for you and this and that okay but you're not currently benefiting me and at the end of the day, I just don't have extra energy and extra emotional space and extra mental space to bring dead weight into my future simply because you've just always been there. I just don't got that kind of time, to be honest with you. Like, I really, really just don't. And it's not that I'm trying to hurt people. It's not that I'm trying to 
alienate people from my life. I just know what's at stake for me. I know what my my future is holding for me. And I know that there are certain relationships that just can't follow me into my future. That's it. That's all. I hope you guys have got something from this conversation. And I want you guys to chime in a little bit. Like, do you think you can have healthy friendships with your exes? Um, I know some people do because all of like a year ago, I probably would have been one of those people to like, yes, you can and you can be friends with them. And da, da, da. I get it if that's where you're at. No judgment. This is a judgment free zone 100%. But I do want to have a conversation. I do want to hear why you think it's important or why to either maintain a friendship with them or why you think it's important to let it go. Um, chime in, write in the comments. Let me hear your thoughts. And as always, if you guys want to talk about a certain topic, please make your suggestions known. All right. Thanks, guys.